What is going on Jaguars fans? Welcome back into the Fan Cave. My name is John O'Leary and today I'm going to be breaking down the week two Jaguars versus the Titans in Nissan Stadium. So our Jaguars went up to Nissan Stadium to do battle with the hated, dreaded Tennessee Titans. Now they fought hard. They were down 14-0 off the jump. Johnu Smith was clicking on all cylinders. Ryan Tannehill was, looked unstoppable, but our Jaguars fought hard and they eventually brought it back to a tied football game. Now, unfortunately, Steven Guskowski did hit a late field goal, bringing the game to 33 to 30, which would be the final score in Nashville, making our Jaguars one and one in the season and second in the AFC South. Now, as weird as this might sound, this might have been the best way for the Jags to lose. If they were going to lose, this was a way to do it. In a shootout that they had to come back from double digits. Quarterback Gardner Minshew had a pretty rough day today. He did have two interceptions, but I will account for one of those interceptions just being a bad read by a rookie wide receiver who went out for a ball that wasn't intended for him. On the other hand, the other interception was a batted ball was out the game that was intercepted by a defensive lineman. Those suck. When you have, when you have a, a, sh a shorter quarterback in the NFL, you're going to have to take those bumps and licks and push on. But on the bright side, Gardner Minshew did find eight different receivers in this game. He went 30 for 45. Normally, I don't like to see Gardner Minshew throw this much. That means the run game was not as heavily involved. But... When you're down 14 nothing in the first quarter, there's a lot of ground to make up very quickly, which is just not conducive for a, a long ground and pound running attack. But I do give Gardner Minshew credit. He did have a heck of a game bringing this team back. He did throw for three touchdowns as well. He even found a uh, brand new tight end, Tyler Eifert. Uh, Eifert re uh, recorded his first touchdown in a Jaguar uniform. Now, speaking of first in a Jaguar uniform, running back James Robinson, he not only tallied his first rushing touchdown in a Jaguars uniform, he also eclipsed the century mark today. He went 16 for 102 and one touchdown. Honestly, for an undrafted rookie playing in his second ever NFL game, he is showing out. He is showing every single hater, every single person that questioned why the team released Leonard Fournette prior to the start of the season. He is showing the NFL city of Jacksonville and the rest of the AFC South. I am a running back in this league and I will be respected. He has been running hard, he's been running fast, and he has just been electric. He has been a great running back for this Jacksonville Jaguars offense. Another rushing threat that has actually emerged quite well in the Jaguars offense is a uh, wide receiver LaVisca Chenault. Now, LaVisca was known as a quick twitch, lightning fast electric player. But we didn't expect LaVisca to come in and be taking wildcat snaps. We didn't expect him to be lining up right next to quarterback Gardner Minshew. He's been taking handoffs from quarterback Gardner Minshew. I believe that is a crazy sign that this that offensive coordinator Jay Gruden has some incredibly wild, inventive new packages to incorporate just the, the total package that is LaVisca Chanel. Now, we've talked about the Jaguar offense. Let's talk about the Jaguars defense. Now, they got tore up in this first half. In the first half, they were outscored 24 to 10. In all honesty, this probably should have been 21 to 10, but a bad squib kick by Josh Lambeau set the Titans up for a quick, easy field goal to close out the half. You know, I've seen the replay. In my opinion, it looked like Josh slipped a little bit. And so for that, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you were an all pro kicker. I know you just don't the ball directly into the front line of the receiving team. I have that faith in kicker Josh Lambeau. Now, defensive coordinator Todd Wash, buddy, what you're doing's not working. The offenses are hanging points on us. You gotta, you gotta find something new to do, man. Whether it's you abandon this big end that you're trying to do, and you're, you go to a three-four. I know you mentioned that you have couple 3-4 packages in your defense. I know it would be tough to incorporate a 3-4 now, but you got you got to do something. We're we're do we're we're just getting destroyed out there. That defense is not 
That defense is not playing well. You're talking about a team that had zero turnovers today. They got, basically, they got four touchdowns hung on by Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill went 18 of 24 for 239. Now, it was very apparent that the defensive strategy today was to go in and stop Derrick Henry. Derrick ran for 25 uh, attempts with 84 yards, zero touchdowns. And if you'd have told me two, three days ago, Derrick Henry will only have 84 yards at the end of this game, I very well might have told you that we were well off into our win. But unfortunately, a couple special teams miscues led to a couple easy field goals, and that ended up costing us the football game. Now, speaking of special teams miscues, Chris Claybrooks muffed two kicks today. Two kicks. Normally, I just I just disregard punts, but for once in my life, I've actually had to watch the punt returns, the kick returns, to, to ensure that the kick returner does not drop the kick. That just seems like, especially when you're brought in as a wide receiver slash kick returner, you should be able to handle kicks. This is just something that I believe is unacceptable and they really need to work on with him. Um, or maybe put Keelan Cole back there. He has returned kicks in the past. He's been he's been decent at it. I do believe that maybe Keelan Cole should be the other option for returning kicks instead of uh, Chris Claybrooks. Now we have one more first in a Jaguar uniform. We have defensive end Caleb on Chason's first sack in a Jaguar uniform. Now, it wasn't just his first sack. It was the Jaguars' only sack on the day. They only reached Ryan Tannehill one time once they had lots of pressure on him whenever they would send blitzes but they were getting almost nothing with a four-man rush on a happier brighter note the jacksonville jaguars have found their offensive coordinator jay gruden has made this offense electric and exciting to watch jay gruden knows the place to call when to call them and how to keep this team in the football game and play against the defense he was, I almost want to say, reading them like a book in the second half. He knew where they were going to be, when they were going to be there, and the packages that they were going to run. It was impeccable. The Jaguars, honestly, whenever I was sitting on my couch watching the game today, I knew that if they could just get a couple stops, Gardner Minshew and Jay Gruden would have the plays dialed in, to march down the field, and get touchdowns. And that they did. Jay Gruden is an awesome piece to add to this Jacksonville Jaguar team, and he has been a huge instrument in helping the Jaguars be as successful as they were. And I'll leave you with this, Jaguars fans. We will not be tanking in the 2020 season. Gardner Minshew will refuse to let this team tank. He said prior to the season start, if this team tanks, if they lose a bunch of games, not only will he be out of the job, but he believes that uh, head coach Doug Marone will be out of the job, as well as general manager Dave Caldwell. Those three guys have a bunch riding on the season, and to say that they're going to let this team tank is incorrect. Carter Minshew is single-handedly, it almost seems like, willing to will this team through the down parts of games and keep them in games. Carter Minshew refuses to tank, and I love watching every second of it. All right, Jaguars fans, we're one and one, second place in the AFC South. We're on to Miami. Excuse me. Miami's on their way to us. Thursday night football in the bank. Be loud. Be proud. Stay safe. And go Jaguars.